Good morning, everyone. Today is the last session on our series on the seven dimensions of the mind, our recently published book by Gurudeva. So today is the first dimension. The first dimension is the inside of things that you cannot see or touch. The inside of a piece of fruit is the first dimension. The outside or surface of the fruit is the second dimension. The inside of the physical body, the earth, a tree, and a stone, these all lie in the first dimension. To bring the first dimension out, simply open up the fruit. The part that was previously unseen as well as untouched but which is now visible and tangible has been brought into the second dimension. It is interesting to note that most of modern science is dedicated to unfolding knowledge of the first dimension and that within the molecular, atomic, and subatomic elements of matter the other seven dimensions are discovered. Thus the scientist by looking into matter finds the deeper dimensions to the point of reducing matter to energy and energy to sound and light. Further reducing sound and light to consciousness and antimatter, he verges on the brink of contemplative realization similar to that discovered in deep meditation. Therefore, all dimensions of the mind exist in every cell, every atom in the universe. Within the first dimension of the mind, called Arahmushum, there are energy flows. Energy in its static state, energy spinning, energy lifting, pushing, pulling, rising, falling, attracting, repelling, changing form, filling, emptying, appearing, and disappearing. Eighteen forms of energy exist in the first dimension interacting and causing the phenomena observed in the physical world and studied by science as gravity, momentum, inertia, magnetism, electricity, and various forces. We can see these energy flows very readily in nature as we witness, without holding previous concepts, the actions and interactions within plants, within stones, within water, wind, and fire. Then we get definition, shum definition, arah mushum, the first dimension, conscious mind, the inside of physical objects which you cannot see or touch. The objects are in the conscious plane. There are energy flows within this dimension. Then I managed to, managed to find a story on that one. The following year, 1969, we returned to Switzerland and experienced the tremendous breakthrough of Mambashum. That year, Nashumif Mulingmishum came through as well. Its simple structure and vocabulary opened the door to speaking Shum while living in inner states and getting things done around the ashram or in the home without using another language. Nashumif Muling Mishum is a very simple and easy way of speaking Shum, which makes the world look very simple and lets the individual deal in the world without being drawn too far out into it. The study of Nashumif Muling Mishum, pronouncing the words and speaking them at home or at the ashram and just communicating in the simplified version of Shum is uplifting. These practices also provide that necessary second step, concentration, holding one's perspective within. The study of Shum offers a framework in which an individual can unfold, and the more vocabulary that is learned, 
the more stable his unfoldment will become year after year after year. Nashumif is the perspective we hold while looking at the energy fields in and through things. Looking at the inside of a tree, seeing how the energy comes up through the tree and finally causes a leaf to form. Nashumif is a state that you are in when you can see the ebb and flow of the 18 predominant forces working within the mind consciousness. These forces are always trying to equalize themselves. Some are static, some are spinning, some are active, some are lifting others up. And this makes form as we see it in its various dimensions. We experience Nashumif in the pull of forces between people who are close to us and in the forces of nature, the full moon, the moon that's waning, the noonday sun. We have the Shum definitions. Mumlingmi, name of a selection of simple Shum pictures enabling quick learning. Nashumif, perspective, looking into the second dimension from the fourth, omitting the third, holding no mental or emotional association with what is observed. The perspective to hold when looking at the energy fields in and through things. From Nashumif, we see the 18 basic movements of nature sub superconsciously. So, what are these 18 movements? Go through them as the last item. Cha E. Break, fall apart or explode. Cha m, fill, flow into or displace space. Cha ni, spin, stir or rotate. Cha ra, disappear, extinguish or cover. Cha a, appear, manifest or uncover. Cha na, absorb, inhale or take in. Cha si, motionless, stopped, resting. Cha di, separate, move away from or divide. Cha mim, within, inside, enclosed. Cha om, move upward, ascend or elevate. Cha mom, come together, touch, combine. Cha um, scrape, slide or grind. Cha mu, suspended, hanging, floating. Cha nam, change form or state. Cha sim, move, travel or flow. Cha ba, fall, descend or sink. Cha sa, below, down, under. Cha da, above, up, at the top. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.